Hi guys, Paul here from the PA Brew News, and we're going to do the Water Gap Wheat, an unfiltered wheat ale from Appalachian Brewing Company, abcbrew.com, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Again, you can also check these guys out in Camp Hill, uh, Gettysburg, and in the, they have products in the Monk's Cafe in Harrisburg as well. Uh, ooh, let's give this a go. Give me a quick look here. Give me a little notes I can tell you about. Notably fresh. Let's see. No ABV. But they're handcrafted in small batches. We all like our crafted ale. So. This is a non, believe it's a non bottle condition. I will check anyway. Golden, golden ale. Here we go. Let's see. I don't think it's bottle condition. It is, oh, I want to say, it, get, it got a little cloudy, it did, it did, so we're going to go with a yes, mildly bottle condition, mildly bottle condition wheat. Got a little bit of that uh, herbal quality to the aroma, a little sourness, hopefully it's a good, well kept ale. I got it again uh, at a single store, so we'll see. Of course, you got uh, some sweet notes in the back from the, from the yeast, the, the bready notes, the yeast, you know, get some banana flavors going on. It is, it almost sounds weird, but it is a typical wheat ale because it, they are their own style. Such a sourness in the smell. The lemon smell to it. Similar to the uh, hefty and wheat ale from Stout's Brewing Company. But not a bad aroma. Faintly, a faint herb quality to the smell. And a re really refreshing taste. Nothing bad in that taste at all. I don't really get a lot of that herb smell in the taste either. It's very, it's very cold, very refreshing. Actually, has some lacing going on too, which is nice. touch of the carbonation feel. Not a lot of flavors going on in this though. Very cold, very refreshing, carbonated. I'm really struggling with this one. Well, I know other beer reviewers, they have had some brews where they just go, it's uh, yeah because that's what basically this is. I'm, I'm not getting a lot of different flavors. I mean, I got, I got, I'm getting a lot of the smell, different uh, bits and pieces out of the smell. Especially probably now. Yeah, it just gets bigger and bigger the more you get a chance to, add, to agitate the head. But, You get a touch of the hop base in the back. No big notes coming from this. No big banana notes. No big citrus notes or anything. You get a residual sweetness from a, from a slight malt. 
and that's about it. There's not really a lot going on in this wheat ale, but it's something that is very, I'm not saying it's bad to drink, I enjoy, I mean the first gulp of this was absolutely lovely, very refreshing, clean taste to it. A little bit of bitterness too, too, which is well. The, it's a pretty good ale. Um, it's just, if you want something very nice and easy going, nothing that's going to bombard you with taste. I mean, and that's a good thing at times too, so don't, don't get me wrong. Um, I would definitely drink this again. Nothing wrong with this. A little lacking on the flavor for me. I wish I could have got a little bit more of uh, maybe some, some, some different fruit flavors, banana flavors in the actual taste too. A little bit of sweetness to back up those just with the hoppy bitterness at the end. Um, and again, there's not really that much of a hoppy goodness, but it's just a clean, refreshing drink that uh, that you should definitely check out. I'm going to give this one. I'm going to give this one since it's lacking a little bit, lacking for me with flavor. I'm going to give this one. It's pretty good. It's it's all right. It's a five out of ten. Five out of ten for the unfiltered wheat ale, the Water Gap wheat. I will definitely have it later. I'll have it on draft if I can find it. And if anything changes, I'll definitely let you know. Cheers.